Um, if you're like me, fascinated by World War II, um, this is a book that you will love. Um, it actually takes place after the end of World War II, and um, really what it's talking about is, as many of you, if you are interested in World War II, know, um, a lot of the Nazis escaped Germany after the war. And um, what they ended up doing was kind of scattering to the wind. Some of them um, went to South America. Uh, one of the more famous Nazis um, was Adolf Eichmann. He was in, uh, responsible for um, basically setting up the train routes and, and all of the um, mechanisms that were responsible for getting all the Jews to the camps. He claimed once uh, later on that he actually never killed anyone, which is a very evasive way of saying it, but of course uh, he, was, he said, you know, much like the Nuremberg Trials, I was following orders. This book reads like a murder mystery in a sense. It's very quick, it's very fast, it's, um, it takes place, uh, it starts with Ar in Argentina in the 50s. Um, he's finally hunted down, tracked down, and the Mossad, uh, the, basically like the CIA for uh, the Israeli uh, government, um, finds him. And without going into too much detail, it's about how are they going to get him out of Argentina. Argentina does not have an extradition treaty with um, Israel, so um, it's a, a lot of cloak and dagger stuff. It's a very quick read. I think I read it in two days. Um, and it's one that will lead you on to other things. In particular, uh, Simon Wiesenthal, who's um, still, still continuing to look for any Nazis out there. Is still, um, his, his organization is still doing their work, this kind of work. Um, very quick read, well written, um, and hard to put down.